Hello, crafty friends. My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And it is one of our favorite times of the month. It is Sheet Load of Cards Day. I hope you'll stick around, get a look at the May 2023 printable, see my first set I made, and find out how you can download it for free. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. If you're new to my channel or new to Sheetload of Cards, this is a free printable I put out each month for my subscribers. Now I will share a look at it with you here in just a minute, but the premise is I give you a new sketch, supply list, and cutting guides so you can make the most of your supplies and make a sheet load of cards. This is usually anywhere between 6 and 12 cards depending on the layout and size. Now in today's video, I'll be showing you the new printable and the first set I made and letting you know how you can download it. Tomorrow, I will be back with the process to show you how I made that first set, and my team of collaborators will be joining me with their takes on the new sheet load. Now, if you're not already subscribed to them here or follow them on Instagram, everybody is linked in that description box below. Go ahead and click on that subscribe or follow so you're all ready for their cards tomorrow. Are you ready to see the new sheet load? Before I show you that new sheet load, I wanted to take a minute to recognize the following channel members who earned their two-year badge in the month of April. Thank you to Jessica Yarbrough, Sasha Bell 728, Kathy Weber, Mary Hattrick, Sherry Young, Lucy Schmidt, Johnielle Smith, Susan Murphy, Marsha McCullough, Lisa Stanley, Laura Edmondson, Rondita95, Bertha Cunningham, Naomi Harner, Leslie Herman, Crafty Days, and Debbie Skluzak. Thank you so much for your continued support. Channel membership is a great way to show your favorite creators that you appreciate what they do. Here on my channel, I have membership starting as low as $1.99 a month. You can check out the join button below this video, or I do have a link in the description box to find out more about the perks and levels. Probably the most favorite perk, which does start at the $1.99 level, is the Sheetload Visual Archive. You can see it up on screen now, and what it is is thumbnails of each month's sheetload with a direct link to download it. So if you're looking for past issues, you don't have to go back and watch all of the videos to find out the links and passwords. You have this one-stop shop as long as you are a member. And now let's take a look at that new sheet load. Here's a look at the brand new May 2023 sheet load of cards. This month is a portrait A2, but as always, you can switch that up if you want. And if you follow the sketch and supply list and the cutting guides, you are going to yield 12 cards from just two pieces of 12 by 12 pattern paper and some card stocks. So this is gonna be a great one to build up that holiday card stash or build up your own stash to send out. Besides those two pieces of pattern paper, you will need five and a half solid card stocks, and that's for matting and your sentiments. And for your card bases, you'll need six pieces of solid card stock that you'll cut and fold into 12 card bases. 
Now, if you like the layout, but you don't want to make 12 or you have some scraps to use up, as always, I give you the single card dimensions. One thing to note today on CS2, it is 3.375 inches by two and a quarter inches. 3.375 is the same as three and three eighths. So if you're gonna get started on the process before I share mine tomorrow, just keep that in mind. I do have it noted a couple places on the printable to help you out. And don't forget, sheet load is a jumping off or a starting point for you, and you can always make these cards your own. I will give you some ideas here under alternatives, but definitely use what you have in your stash and play around the, with those pieces so it looks best for you. Page two of the printable is always the cutting guides, and it's gonna show you how to cut each of your card stocks and your pattern papers. Now, something that I switch up a little bit this month is you'll notice at the bottom, there are some dotted lines, and that is a suggestion of how you can use the leftover scraps and maybe put those on the inside of your cards to decorate. It is my plan to show you this month how to do that, so make sure to watch that process video tomorrow. Let's go ahead and take a look at the main supplies I use for my first set this month. Here's a look at the main supplies I use for my first set this month. In tomorrow's process video, there will be a few other products and tools I bring in and tell you about. For my two pattern papers, I chose these two from Vicki Booten's Where To Next line. I just love those big, bold flowers and that kind of almost a quatrefoil, not quite pattern to go with it. For my matting cardstock, I went with Cupcake from Tailored Expressions. I just thought this went well with the lighter color pink on this paper and some of the pinks on the first one. Now for my sentiment, I chose Life is Better with You from Pretty Pink Posh's Simple Sayings Life Stamp Set. These will probably end up going out to my channel members and my life is definitely better with them, so I thought that was a great sentiment. For a pop of color and to bring in something besides pink, I chose to stamp that in Gina K Designs Tranquil Teal. Let's go ahead and take a look at my first set of cards. I hope you enjoyed that look at my first set of cards for May 2023 and I just wanted to say life is definitely better with you as my subscribers. Thank you to everyone who watches, likes, comments, shares, interacts with my videos. It is so appreciated and I wouldn't be here without you. Now let me tell you how you can download the printable for yourself. As always, I do ask that you're a subscriber to my channel before you click on the link, which I'll tell you where it's at here in just a minute. It's free, it's quick, it's easy to become a subscriber. Just click on that button right below this video. If you would like to download the May 2023 sheet load of cards, you're going to find this month's link in the description box below all the way at the bottom. Now underneath the link it will say to watch the video for a password, but you watching this far is the password. You can download it and just view it on screen and use it, or you can download and print it like I have. I hope that you have a great time getting crafty with the new sheet load of cards. I'll see you back here tomorrow with the process, and as always my team of collaborators will be joining me. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.